Steve up. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and we're. The... This is a gift from Patrick R. Lee. Patrick R. Lee, you magnificent. Fight. So I want to tell you about this one. This is interesting. Yeah. You know, we always talk about the fact that Indiana distilleries that aren't MGP yeah. have kind of a bastard of a time. You would think. Yeah. Because it says distilled in Indiana on their bottle. Yeah. This one is a Kentucky whiskey. Oh. Not made by any major Kentucky distillery. It's a craft in Kentucky. And, and doing it kind of their own way and making okay. their own shit. So they were very clear. Distilled, aged, and bottled by. They had to. Glens Creek Distilling. Yeah, they had to do that. LLC. You know. Frankfort, Kentucky. Yeah, so this was Patrick Lee wrote that. Um, and I got all this on the info too. But <clears throat> essentially, what he said was uh, these guys have their own custom triple distilled style pot still type combo stills. They, That's a lot of words. They are set up at the original location of the oh, James, the old Crow Distillery. Oh. That's the fun, was, right? Sure. They found a wild yeast in one of the old fermentation vats and they are using that to make their oh, bourbon. Oh, that's cool. They mooched a yeast. They mooched a yeast. <laughs> yeah, and they call this... A long abandoned yeast. They make a whole bunch of stuff. OCD number five? Yeah. Okay. This, this release is always a single barrel. Always. One barrel. The name, OCD, based yeah. on what we know is obsessive compulsive disorder. Mm -hmm. Did they obsessively compulsively disorderly Create this whiskey? <laughs> Disorderly. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Sure, why not? Uh, no, they listed the five things that they mean for OCD, and most of them are like basically how you make whiskey. They should have uh, gone with obsessive compulsive. Yeah, so they go full barrel strength. They don't proof it down. No. They, uh... Ooh, man. Bam, right on the nose. Single barrel bottling. Holy crap, ready? hang on. Ready? I'm gonna tell you. Am I ready? Three oak aging. Okay. They start with new oak and then they move it to a few others. Wild yeast. Yeah. And then they do their old school pot still. I love this nose. Pot still bourbon. I love this nose. I'm getting such a pecan butterscotch. Oh, I was going to say the the pralines. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wow. Man, the can it's like sugary candy. Whoa. On top of that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, though. There's a weird tail end to that note. I don't know. Weird? I don't know. If we it, it goes from candy sweet to slight soy sauce. No. Soy. No. Yes. No. Yes. It's almost a savory. It goes so far into the sweet that there's almost a savory tinge oh, to the no, back. I don't know. Savory, you could basically convince me trajectory-wise there could be some savory action happening. Soy sauce, a bridge Damn. too far. A bridge too far, my son. Uh, you know what this actually reminds me of? Mm. What's that? The bite. Oh, no, what are you doing? No, 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 no. What are you doing? The but pressure? good. <laughs> but it has that weird combination of unbelievably sweet, but like soy, savory, meaty. You say savory, meaty. I'm saying more of like so oily. Yeah. I'll get you with the well, oily. Oily that it turns into almost like this oiled wood. It's almost a varnish. With the first approach, that pecan butterscotch with that sugar, just granular topping on it just explodes out of the glass. Then you get into the, the wood character. Wow, this stuff. nose, I can't stop smelling it. Oh, no, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, I think... What's the proof? I think even, even in Kentucky, they can hold their head high. 55% alcohol, 110 proof. That is a beautifully complex nose. Wow, this is unlike any Kentucky bourbon you've ever smelled mm. in your life. Mm. Man, that, you know why I think I love this? Hmm. It's striking me more as a Texas whiskey. Son of a bitch, if it's not. It really is. Yes! Yeah. You're not, oh, the finish. Coffee candy. Wow. Coffee candy. it eventually gets there. You know when you get the little coffee flavored yeah. uh, after dinner yeah. things? Yeah, that's exactly it. Yes! The finish, and that just stays with you. Wow, that lingers. So what we, Man. Mean, what we mean by the character of this is coming across as a Texas whiskey is there's a, a denseness, a saturated element, like the, the oils, these flavors that are rich being pulled from the wood. Yeah. Usually in Kentucky, you're going right down the middle of the road, these classic bourbon flavors. No, that's not what this is. This is, a, this is an outlier whiskey. And if you would have poured me this and told me this was a Texas distillery, oh, you'd yeah. like, oh, they're making some damn good stuff. Yeah. The fact that they got this, do we know how much, how old this is? Uh, at least two years. Two years, okay. Yeah, the, the density that, in that. Yeah, in two years, that's that's surprising. And Texas, because of the if it's going through summers, you're gonna see a lot of color, a lot of flavor. 
pulled relatively quickly. In Kentucky, damn. This is blowing my mind. Yeah, no. I, I really, really like this. Yeah, me too. Me too. Can we... I was not ready to... I, 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 you want to know the snobby part of my personality? I, I saw the label right. and I was prepared to not like it. Well, it's a craft label. Yeah. It, yeah. You're not really grokking like the balance, the font choice, the whole thing. No. Basically, you can't judge a whiskey by the label. No, you can't because I would have been so wrong. Man. It's almost, I mean, that desserty. That's, that's the note. And, and dare I say. <laughs> <laughs> we got the goat. We got, we said wait, 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 hang on. I think we should compare this to a Texas whiskey. Okay. But which one? Ah. Because I'm thinking neither Garrison, which is the super oaked woody Texas right, bourbon. Right. Um, or the or Lone Elm uh, Wheat Whiskey, even, whiskey? which has that really dense sweetness. Do the Garrison Brothers. All right, let me see what yeah. bottle we have. As you get that, Arthur Lopez, what's your least favorite part of editing? Also, favorite dark mooch moment. <laughs> yeah, I was interested to hear your least favorite part of editing. Just the time. Like, I've been editing for 20 plus years. Um... Not so much recently for either Whiskey Channel. We have an editor for The Vault um, and an editor for The Tribe. And I haven't edited The Vault as my job for a long, long time. Um, for The Tribe, it's Alex doing about 80 to 90% of the edits these days. And I go in there and I clean it up and tighten it up the last 10, 15%. It's just the time. Um, yeah. To do like a 13-minute episode. In the vault, this is damn near podcast type of content. It is, yeah, yeah. Right, very few edits, very few cuts. Um, it's almost something that we can produce in real time. We just have to switch the cameras mm -hmm. in post production with a whiskey tribe episode. Typically, you're gonna have a 13 minute episode, and you got like two or three days of editing. Mm -hmm. Just uh, yeah, that's the time. Uh, what about you? What's your least favorite part of editing? I think. Editing is a joy. No, you recently realized you said something. Um, I was talking about the process. I don't know why we got onto it, but you said it was very akin to was it mixing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the same as mixing. That, and and in for example, oh, in so many yeah. ways. One, there's so much time suck. But two, you can get ear and eye blind, mm -hmm. right? Where it's just you hit a point where you're like, oh man, any change I make now is gonna it be, can make everything worse. Oh, it's it's the damnedest thing. Like mm. if, there is a point where. You can, you, you're, you're so mentally exhausted, you can put two hours into trying to do a simple thing. You come you back fresh. If you come back the next morning and you're fresh, 10 minutes and you're done. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've, better. I've literally spent from like midnight to 2 a.m. to try to fix a drum kick sound. Right. And the next morning, come in, unclicked one of the side mics, mm -hmm. and went, well, that was it. Right. <laughs> wow. Damn it. You know what? They, they are, they're cousins. They're, they're equally dense. They are equally dense. And I think there's a more sweet element to this. There's more yes. of a... This is significantly sweeter. This is far more tannic. Well, tannic, and, and but it doesn't get overly bitter. It doesn't no, get... No, no, no. Yeah. But it's way more wood heavy. Wood heavy and... Sugar is heavy. I would agree. Yeah. Those are both super good. Favorite oh, dark mooch moment. Man, oh, Glens Creek. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Uh, Frankfort, Kentucky. Damn. Peter Drost, Drost, what other hobbies do you enjoy? I like fly fishing and fly tying. Ah, what do you do? Rock climb. You do rock climb. Yeah. All right. I, I take naps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I game, actually. Um, whenever you know, people come to the distillery and uh, we'll start talking about games, and they're always surprised at how much I actually know about the gaming and the franchises and different <laughs> stages of development. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cyberpunk's going to be amazing, by the way. Uh, it's coming out, I think, later this year. I've run into a bunch of tribe people rock climbing. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be at the, at the rock climbing gym. There's a Crux climbing gym in Austin, and I'll be climbing and looking like, hey, how are you? I'm like, hey. <laughs> hanging from the... Just dangling. Hey, yeah, that's me. I, uh, well, yeah. you, know, you know why you're into rock climbing? Hmm. Hobbits. Hobbits like the rock climbing? They have hollow bones. <laughs> Much lighter. They can, so they can scurry. Hollow bones. So can scurry. And scurvy. <laughs> Damn. Super pleasantly surprised in that. Yes, well done. me too. Well done, you guys. 
that are obsessively, compulsively, disorderly <laughs> making whiskey. Yeah. Here's the fight, stealing and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.